Hey y'all, let's talk about the number one reason that people do not pass the Google Certified Educator exams. It's because they run out of time. That is the number one reason that I have seen so many educators miss the mark. So if, if you're not familiar, the level one and level two Google Certified Educator exams require that you pass with an 80 or above. And um, that seems very doable until you get your score back and you made a 79. And I've seen that happen time and time again and people are so disheartened. But most of the time when I talk to them, they tell me that they ran out of time and didn't answer all of the questions. And so that's, you know, that's the same issue that we have with our own students in our own classrooms when they take timed tests. And unfortunately, Google's not gonna give you a lot of specific feedback on what you missed, but that is generally one of the biggest reasons why people fail the exam. So if you fail, you can retake it. However, there are lots of rules around that. So you have to wait seven days before you can take it again. After that, the time period gets longer and longer and longer. So um, just keep that in mind. And you do have to pay again if you retake the exam. So even though the level one exam is only $10, um, that's gonna add up over time. So just keep that in mind. And that's why I always tell educators to go in prepared. Don't take it blindly. Don't assume that you know everything. Go ahead and take the time to review the content and make sure that you're ready to go.